What is going on, YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the second album by rock band The Killers. Basically, this product is called Sam's Town, and it came out in the fall of 2006. Now, the thing about Hot Fuss from 2004 was that was a particular classic album out of the 90s. Now, the thing about Hot Fuss from 2004 was that was a particular kind of seminal album out of the 2000s as far as that pitch can have. Definitely with some hit singles like Mr. Brightside and Somebody Told Me and some of those type pitches. And it had some follow-up singles beyond those two in particular that I don't remember as much, but it is a particularly pretty good album. I think I remember... I want to say I gave the album back in October when I reviewed it like over a 9 out of 10. So it's a pretty good pitch to get that in particular. But this album, the surprising but definitely quality thing about this particular product is that this outstrips that particular record by quite a bit, I'd have to say. Now, I would say that it's a great one-two punch to get Hot Fuss and Sam's Town kind of in the same junction, I would have to say. But it's just a particular concept that both of these are pretty excellent albums and did a lot of damage for the 2000s decade, I'd have to suppose. Now, obviously... I do feel like maybe this album doesn't have as much of like a full-blown smash hit success like I think possibly this album doesn't have as much of like a full-blown decade topping success like Mr. Bright said something to that relative pitch but I would have to say it's still a pretty quality record definitely going to get like a classic and rave score I'd say so in my opinion and I think in a lot of critic opinions this is a pretty heralded project here and it definitely did a lot they definitely did not have the sophomore slump on this particular project but two of the singles just did not chart as heavily on this particular album I do feel like Hot Fuss is just a little bit more in terms of commercial type fare a little bit more widespread and a little bit more reaching as far as that pitch can have but i definitely feel like one of the singles at least on here when you were young at least had some pretty heraldedness towards it that kind of got almost i mean it charted just about when you were young charted just about as high as mr bright said this was kind of the concept of the rest of this record i don't know it's just kind of strange that this record didn't do better than it did i mean maybe it went platinum something like that i'd have to look it up but just kind of the concept about it, i would have to say in terms of the quality and the overall impact of this record i feel like a lot of damage was done but Kind of, and this makes me question when folks look after this record in retrospect, whether or not they think the Hot Fuss was just the overall better one and just the more last ability. But I definitely feel like, once again, this is a pretty excellent one-two punch here. I just feel like the concept, maybe the singles were not quite as full and widespread compared to songs like Somebody Told Me, Mr. Brightside, and like the third and fourth singles. Songs like all these things I've done and some of those type pitches from Hot Fuss as far as that particular kind of goes. But I still look after it. This would damn near, I, I mean, in my opinion, I definitely feel like this is a classic, but I just look after in terms of like the commercial type of feel. It's just too bad that this record didn't do much much more stretching as far as I kind of went because I think the critics folks like Rolling Stone some of those type folks in particular really felt like this is a pretty heraldic project just because it's a little bit different I mean this one's not as much new wave definitely has the outing type fair that's another good thing about this particular project is the social fair of this project is pretty much off the meter if you like songs like Mr. Brightside's kind of morning glaze somebody told me it's kind of night flash and stuff like that and then this the kind of after effects are like all these things that I've done, this is kind of a malaise of just like the evening type pep as far as that particular kind of goes. I would have to say this album is just chock full of nightlife and just the social feel of it is pretty glistening. It has Sam particularly just full of those type records. Sam's Town seems like a pretty interesting place to go as far as that pitch kind of happens. This would have to say is really look after just within that concept, but definitely has some pretty good pep about it. I just question, like, I think the Killers continue to be, like, a seminal band throughout the 2010s and stuff like that, but it just makes me question, like, there were certain artists and bands that kind of, there were certain artists and bands that kind of switched their style up or had popularity shifts between, like, you know, 2010 and 2014, some of those type pitches, even after usually, like, their 2008, 2010 records, some of those type pitches, folks like Godsmack, Fallout Boy, some of those type folks, just within that relative pitch, just as, Things started as tides started to shift in like the 2010s. So it's going to be interesting to see what happened with the killers within that relative pitch. We'll just have to see about that. But I definitely think this is a pretty quality record here. So we'll go ahead and talk about the singles. Basically, the first single is when we were. The first single is When You Were Young. And this is definitely like a stellar glaze, kind of bar hopping evening life of a song. I'd have to say in particular, it's like a good vanilla outing sequel to Somebody Told Me, I'd have to say. And it's kind of like a blend between Mr. Brightside and Somebody Told Me. It has like the When You Were Young has the particular pep of Mr. Brightside, but it also has the nighttime type glaze that Somebody Told Me. So it's a pretty good pitch to kind of get that one in particular. Just some real, this is a real emphatic rock single right here. I'd have to say in particular. And the thing about it on top of that is this, it was a pretty, the thing about it on top of that was just the fact that it was a pretty big commercial smash as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it also it just it charted in like the top 15 in billboard 100 mr brightside was like a top 10 single so this was on par with that particular one as far as that pitch kind of goes it's a real nice emphatic one but it's just too bad that the rest of the singles didn't chart as heavily as far as that pitch kind of happened with it but i think there were at least rock chart hits as far as that particular kind of goes 
bones and for reasons unknown didn't really chart that heavily but at least read my mind was like a top 70 single as far as that pitch kind of happens but basically bones is the second single this is a real nice highlighted one it's like a good blue collar at work kind of. bones is like a good blue collar at work kind of pep i would have to say in particular pretty good concept for that just being at the job and things of that relative pitch as far as that particular kind of goes it's some blue collar type stuff that works pretty heavily it's like a snappy single with like a great groove about it, I have to say. So it's definitely some fun stuff to hear while on the job as far as that particular pitch kind of happens. If you do have some makeshift hustle that you have to get towards and get taken care of, it's a great song to listen to while at the job. It's some good groove to kind of keep you focused and in motion, I'd have to say. And this is just some great stuff for like night venue activity on top of that, I'd have to say. So it's definitely some bar hopping type stuff, just a night venue, dance club type stuff, restaurant type music as far as that pitch kind of happens. There's some emphatic typeness to this kind of wine, some kind of emphaticness to kind of unwind and stuff like that as far as that pitch kind of goes. I mean, it really reminds me of like Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy around that particular pitch. Now, this song came out a little bit sooner, but still pretty good. Bones is definitely some good makeshift rock, I'd have to say in particular as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it. But it's a nice one. Read My Mind is the third single. It's a pretty good highlighted one. This is like an emphatic kind of dance club gliss of a song I'd have to say in particular. It's like some great slow dance music. I would definitely have to say some romances for that particular pitch. It's a good concept to kind of get that in particular. It's just like a dreary kind of morning commerce tune. I would also feel like pretty similar to Mr. Brightside, some of those type pitches. And this is also, and this is a song with some good pep about it, I'd have to say. So it's kind of a similarity between like Mr. Brightside with a little bit of like, this is definitely like a pretty good morning tune just for like the commerce to like Starbucks and pitches like that target some of those type places and like the morning type fair with like some dance club type atmosphere as far as that pitch kind of goes. Great slow dance tune like I was saying just a good concept kind of get that one in particular just works as like morning and kind of this dreary kind of nightlife as far as that pitch kind of happens. It's just kind of one for just the wind down type fair or the waking up type fair as far as that pitch would kind of go at least in my opinion that's what I saw from it just within that pitch but it's just some good emphasis as far as that particularly kind of happens this once again some good makeshift to kind of have this one works pretty well with bones i'd have to say it's a good makeshift type tune for just car or just like early commerce as far as that pitch kind of goes but i look after it just some good concepts so good concept there for reasons unknown it's the four singles and another good highlighted one this definitely some outings up here this one's not as much makeshift but i still like the concept behind this one quite a bit it's like a solid night outing restaurant type music i would have to say in particular it's definitely like a good grab some grub type tune i would have to say a good grab some grub this is a good grab some grub type tune i'd have to say in particular in this song this has fun dance vibes about it i'd have to say and it's just a basic bop so this is basically like a pretty good pairing with like bones i would have to say that's a pretty good concept and i would also say Basically, all four of the singles in some fashion have like some sort of dance connotation about them. It's just a good pitch to kind of get some of these. I would have to say, in particular, I feel like Bones is probably the one of the ones with the most jive about it. When we were when you were young, it's kind of the entry type one that this is like the banner type one that just gets the attention and that sort of stuff. Read my mind's like the slow dance one, and I feel like for reasons unknown, it's just like the basic vanilla type one as you start to phase out of listening to music as much. I mean, it's a good song, definitely. I feel like, but this kind of the concept that for reasons unknown is a single that didn't quite chart as heavily. I feel like this is probably a good highlighted one, but I just question how much attention grabbing it would kind of have. I mean, it's a good song, it's just kind of the concept, it just doesn't have the immediate kind of commercial appeal of when you were young or read my mind, some of those type ones. But I would have to say, a rock chart highlighted works pretty damn well. I would like to hear this on the radio and stuff like that, but it just kind of comes off as more just extra noise as far as that pitch can happen. But I'm glad that they got to the fourth single. Definitely, in my opinion, it's a pretty good outing type song to kind of hear just out and about in that dance clubs and stuff like that. But it's just kind of the concept. I just question the casual appeal of it, especially nowadays, 17, 18 years later, as far as that pitch kind of goes. But some real good stuff. So to talk about the rest of the singles, or talk about the rest of the album cuts on here, there's 10 songs on this particular album so it's a snappy album here i question if like hot fuss was about that length too i think that one was like 11 or 12 songs as well as far as that pitch can have both once again basically a good one two punch to get both hot fuss and sam sound as far as that pitch can have so basically the only two songs i don't recommend basically the only two songs i don't recommend off this particular album is just my list and then why do i keep counting so to talk about those real quick basically my list is just kind of like a ballad a down tempo ballad type song that just doesn't really pull off the vibes that well it would have been interesting if they would have had like a vibe if they could have pulled off like the mr Brightside type vibes a little bit better because that was like somewhat of like a mid down tempo type song and then, and then just something with like all these things that i've done some of those type pitches that's just a little bit slower and then there's like a song that's like called something don't forget to smile or something like that don't forget to smile or something like that just kind of a pitch of like a more <clears throat> my list just didn't pull off the vibes for like a captivating kind of blue collar down tempo type song as, as far as that pitch kind of particularly happens with it just kind of a just kind of an unnoteworthy one and then why do i keep counting was just kind of an awkward type one this is really like the only real 
an awkward, this unaffable type one on here. I'd have to say in particular, this was just kind of one that just kind of had like an awkward kind of trajectory and just stuff like that. Just the arrangements and the instrumentation about it were just not quite as coded and quite as like, we're just not quite as well coded and synchronized as far as that particular pitch kind of has with it. But that's just the basic concepts. So really only two songs I didn't recommend out of 10 on here. This album's going to get a 10 out of 10. Like I was saying, it's a pretty highlight type pitch. Classic album out of here, especially out of the mid late 2000s as far as that pitch kind of has. Even if it does not have the definitive, just kind of like, classic type decade topping status of like hot fuss i would definitely have to say is pretty much probably the better album despite the fact that the singles are kind of questionable in terms of like the casual appeal of them i feel like hot fuss may have the better casual singles but this album is definitely probably the better record just in terms of the quality and its overall outing type fair that it had i feel like hot fuss just had more duds on there as far as that pitch can have not to say that that wasn't a good album it's just kind of the concept from what i remember this one definitely is superior in terms of like the social type fair so it's just kind of the concept it's better social but the, the the first album has better casual appeal so it's kind of strange how that works where this one has more social bops for being for congregating and going out and that sort of stuff but the the previous one is probably more noteworthy in terms of like the casual kind of appeal that folks would recognize if they heard it so this is kind of the concept it's one of those situations but get both so basically talk about some of these album cuts on here sam's town the title track is pretty highlighted one it's like a fun outing thrills of a song i'd have to say in particular the song has commercial packaging. I would definitely feel like this probably could have been a rock chart. The song probably could have charted on like the rock charts as far as that pitch kind of happens. This is like a good dance hit, I would have to say, and it goes well with Bones. I would definitely feel like Bones, and for reasons unknown, I would definitely have to say it's a pretty catchy overall song, just in particular. So this is a pretty highlighted one. It's a basic kind of album cut, not basic in terms of quality, but just the concept of having an extra kind of, just the concept of having some basic kind of extra out, just the concept of having some basic kind of extra outing pair as far as that pitch kind of happens, especially for the dance bar as far as that particular kind of goes. That's so a nice one. Bling is a pretty nice one also. It's a pretty hazy kind of bar dredge of a song I had to say in particular. It's like some good kickback after a long day of work or something like that. Just a long day in particular, I'd have to say. Good, nice one to unwind. This, this song feels like some outgoing kind of contemplation. I'd have to say it's social, but it kind of feels here and there, just kind of a little bit more preoccupied and stuff like that. I'd have to say it was a pretty good particular type one to kind of get definitely for something for just sipping brews at like a bar or something of that relative pitch and just kind of having stuff on your mind. It's kind of the kickback. And it's a real good highlight for mid 2000s kind of bar hopping as far as that pitch kind of happens. It's something you probably would have heard in like after hours, like karaoke bars and college and like karaoke bars and college bars and sports bars and some of those type pitches and even restaurants that would have this nightlife and some of those type pitches i'd say pretty nice one just kind of after hours for like 1 a.m 10 o'clock at night some of those type pitches i'd have to say uncle johnny's probably like the one uncle johnny's probably one of the most riveting songs on here this is pretty much like at the pitch at night i'd have to say it's definitely like a hazy late at night kind of stretcher i'd have to say in particular it's definitely some fun evening times for like some demon time activity. I would have to say it's definitely something that just feels like you woke up at like seven o'clock p.m. went straight to the bar, some of those type pitches, or went right to the dance club, some of those type things. It's some emphatic typeness to just kind of have some nightlife, and this is just an emphatic and kind of thrilling song. I'd have to say overall, so it's just a pretty nice one. There's some real great stuff for some demon time type stuff as far as that pitch can happen. So this is pretty much. I really like the riffage on this particular song. It really feels like an emphatic type one out of the mid 2000s as far as that pitch can happen. Just some great stuff. The band work instrumentation on this particular song's pretty great it's just very catching and immediate and just has that appeal just like some social type fair just for nightlife as far as that particular pitch kind of goes so it's just some good outing type stuff and then this river is wild it's a pretty nice one as well it's like an exhilarating kind of night pet for getting ready to step out at that same particular it's just a real nice one this just feels like a just woke up at 8 p.m kind of cheer of a song i'd have to say so if you're waking up at nightlife if you do have like work at like the graveyard shift some of those type peps this as far as that situation this as far as that particular situation kind of goes this is a real nice one now this one's kind of more of just like getting ready to get to the place as far as more so than actually being there this is not as much like a residential type album but i do feel like there's definitely some good moments for the nightlife as far as just like socializing just kind of being at restaurants and sports bars and stuff like that as far as that pitch kind of goes in places just you know places to get snackage and some of those type pitches and dance clubs some of that type of stuff but i just look after it and this one is just basically like a primer type song to kind of get you ready for just getting ready to step out and get to like the gig and some of those type pitches as far as really having some of those times i mean it could even be it could probably even be for like a house party some of those type pets but i really feel like a lot of this is just more socializing just out and about as far as that pitch can goes i really like the concept behind it it's a great taste of like 
some social type of feel as far as that pitch can goes. But so yeah, this is a pretty social album. This album's gonna get a 10 out of 10, like I was saying. The social score is gonna definitely get a 10 out of 10 also, just because I look after it. There's just a lot of good vivid type of feel type songs on here. You've got album cuts that have that social appeal like Sam's Town. You've got some album cuts that have some of that social nightlife appeal like Sam's Town, Bling and Uncle Johnny. I would have to say all four of the singles have some sort of dance club type of appeal. I'd have to say in particular, so it's definitely a pretty good flash as far as that particular pitch kind of goes along with it, just being able to have some of that night pizzazz. And then, the, and then this river is wild slice of good evening type pep for just waking up at like 7 30 8 30 p.m some of those type of pitches so it's just a pretty good concept for the most part this is just a thrilling type time for just like the outing type fair not to say that this album doesn't have other qualities but i just look after the concept it does have some morning pep on here in certain senses and it does have some of that makeshift just admits it does have some makeshift songs just to miss all that songs like bones and read my mind and little bit of this river is wild some of those type ones just in particular and i would even say when you were young is pretty good pitch to kind of have for like some good makeshift just within the relative senses depending on when you hear it and just depending upon when you hear it i'd say so this is pretty much like a classic album i just feel like once again i just feel like the concept behind the quality of this stuff is just off the meter as far as that particular pitch kind of goes it's a real it's a real classic example of nailing some of these executions and just having the concept behind it the only real weakness towards this is the fact that the singles didn't chart heavier as far as that pitch kind of went maybe they're starting to phase out a bit i just question we'll have to see about some of their later albums as far as that pitch kind of goes but i definitely feel like there's some pretty some pretty stellar quality here just within that overall pitch that's kind of the concept about it but in terms of future in terms of future like the killers have at least dropped an album in 2021 so they'll probably be back at some point in particular they do have another good several projects i'm gonna have to get to i'm just gonna go through some of these projects and just see how they're kind of just kind of see how some of their chart trajectory kind of happens and stuff because i do feel like this these these first albums are pretty damn excellent, I have to say. So it'd be interesting to kind of see how they charted because I know they had they continue to have popularity as far as that pitch kind of happen. Should definitely be interesting to kind of see some of these type ones, but hopefully they just didn't fall off in like the twenty tens and the mid twenty tens as far as that pitch kind of happened because rock kind of went through some shifts as far as that pitch kind of particularly happened. But I would have to say there's some excellent stuff here. Classic mid two thousands rock album definitely has some pretty sheer nightlife, and I do highly recommend this.